This is Who Say Q&A. I'm Caitlin Becker with all the questions. And here with the answers today is the amazing hungry girl who is better known as Lisa Lillian. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks I for having me. I'm so excited to have you here. Let's get into what is Hungry Girl all about? Hungry Girl is about guilt-free eating. I mean, I sort of started using that term back in 2004, and I just stuck with it. It's about helping people make smarter food choices without even realizing they're doing it. It's just like a real-world way to survive. How did you get from coming up with the idea to today? Well, back in, I would say, 2003, and this was before social media, before blogs, before blogging, I had this idea to sort of put out this information in a fun, relatable way. And typically, information about making food choices and dieting and healthy foods, it's just very clinical and boring. And I wanted to make it fun and funny and relatable. And so the name Hungry Girl just popped into my brain. and. I took it and ran with it. I started it as a daily email, which is what it is now. I mean, I, I thought of building a website, and I thought, well, my mom will go to it. But if you build a website, people don't necessarily go to it. I wanted to create a way for the product to market itself. So I created a daily email, and um, it just sort of took off. People started sharing the information, and you know, the rest is history. You weren't working in the food business, though, when you, when you started this. At what point did you set, decide to, or were you able to transition from your original career path into the world of Hungry Girl? Well, right, I was working in entertainment. I worked for Nickelodeon for a long time, and then I was at Warner Brothers. And, you know, I started my career when I was very young working in teen magazines. And so I was writing all that, like, exclamation point copy about cute boys. And I thought, well, if I take that same passion and the fun from there and mix that with food, that I might have something people could relate to. So I decided to change my career completely and just you know, make my love of food be what I do every single day. I mean, I never expected it to turn into what it turned into. Do you people are shocked when you see the swaps and you're like, oh, that's probably not that bad on this menu at this place because it has vegetables in it and maybe it's not fried. And then you see how it shakes out and the sodium to me is always what gets me. You cringe. Yeah, you hit on so many different points. Well, one thing is, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is too good to be true. So even if something on a light menu at the Cheesecake Factory or wherever, Applebee's, I'm not saying that you can't find really healthy things there, but if you go there, the guy in the back who's supposed to be measuring the exact amount of oil in your dish may or may not be following it exactly. So you, oft, you have to take responsibility for what you're eating. If it's swimming in oil, you know what? It's probably not as low calorie as you think.